chemical rockets are good. Take some fuel, burn it, and voila, you've got escape velocity. However, that is the only thing it's good for though. A significant drawback of this type of space propulsion is that after achieving certain amounts of speed, you need an immense amount of fuel just to gain a little bit more acceleration. One more problem with chemical rockets is that most of the mass of the spacecraft tends to be fuel, leaving only a little room for the payload. Hello fellow humans and welcome to my channel. I'm your host SS and on today's novel episode of Space Quest, we'll be discussing a few propulsion ideas to replace chemical rockets which could possibly propel us into the future. So, let's begin. <laughs> Option 1. Ion Propulsion Ion propulsion involves the use of electromagnetic fields to accelerate ions out of the back of a spacecraft. So here's what happens. A plasma is created in a chamber and a neutral gas such as xenon is released along with electrons. The collisions between the xenon atoms and electrons result in the production of more electrons and a positive ion of xenon. The extra electrons remain in the chamber to perform more ionizing reactions while the positive ions are pushed out through a grid causing the spacecraft to accelerate gradually up to speeds much greater than the chemical rockets. However, this is only half a solution to our problem. See, the time it takes ion engines to build up speed makes them an excellent option for thrusters or engines of spacecraft in space like satellites. However, Due to the long duration of time required to get to speeds anywhere near a chemical rocket, launching a spacecraft using ion propulsion from Earth is almost impossible. So what do we do? This brings us to option 2 which is fusion rockets. Fusion rockets are another great option to replace normal chemical rockets. These kind of rockets use nuclear energy, nuclear fusion in specific, to release massive amounts of energy to propel the spacecraft. Nuclear fusion is basically the process of combining two atoms to release huge amounts of energy. Fusion rockets, if realized in the next decade or so, could cut travel times to Mars in half. However, there is one huge issue with this type of propulsion system. It releases a lot of radioactive waste and even if we could protect the crew of the spacecraft from it, we would still be contaminating that part of the space. And the release of such amounts of radiation definitely rules out the possibility of taking off from the surface of the Earth with a fusion rocket. Option 3. A warp drive. Alright, now let's discuss about something that might not be feasible in the near future, but it is cool and has some research being done in its field. I am of course talking about my favourite fictional propulsion system, the warp drive. Thanks to the work of physicist and Star Trek fan Miguel Alcubier, we can actually start thinking about building a warp drive. Some of you who know about warp drives know that they are capable of traveling faster than the speed of light. But we also know that nothing in the universe can travel faster than light. So how do we get around this problem? Well, we know that nothing in our space can travel faster than light. But there is no speed limit for a different part of space traveling through our general space. The warp drive achieves faster than light travel or FTL travel by quite literally warping the space around it so as to create a localized bubble of space or what we call as a warp bubble with the ship in it. After that, by expanding the space behind the ship and contracting the space in front of the ship, we can propel this localized bubble of space through our general space at speeds faster than light. But of course, I do have a reason to say that it might not be feasible anytime in the near future. The amounts of negative energy required to contract the space in front of the ship is astronomical. To generate that, we need negative mass which we don't know much about as well. So that was my video on alternative space propulsion ideas. Hope you all enjoyed it. Leave a like, share this video and subscribe to my channel. I also have some more propulsion ideas that I would want to discuss here. So leave a comment below if you liked it and I might make a part 2 of this video. I'm also working on a video about the Star Trek Starship USS Enterprise in my Sci-Fi Time series. So be sure to hit that bell icon so you are notified when it comes out. Until then, live long and prosper. <laughs>